Mr. Silicone, a quick question. What do you expect Hope to gain from this conference? What do you hope to see coming out of this conference? Look, I think it's about time that we have to share the latest developments in the diamond industry. 50% mm. to 60% of our clients in South Africa, they are actually, you, you, you know, resident of Israel. And they mm. need to know exactly in terms of the development of the new legislation. Mm. You know, there's new legislation that has been passed by government that is obviously emphasizing on value addition, beneficiation. Right partnership with private sector. We'd like to have investors coming through to South Africa mm. to invest. Mm -hmm. We'd like them to come in and impart the skills and training. The synergy between ourselves and uh, the Israel diamond industry can be of good use to everyone. What is the latest legislation, the situation with the legislation? Look, uh, there's a new the Diamond Amendment Act and the legislation obviously focuses on value addition. Mm. But I guess it's important now that South Africa should take the opportunity right. to start adding value. I mean, the spin-offs of coming through the value chain are right. enormous. What is annual, uh, your annual production? South Look, Africa's our annual, annual production? production varies from 15 to 16 million uh, carats mm -hmm. of diamonds, of which 90% uh, of that is from primary resources like kimberlite pipes and fishes, and the rest obviously are alluvial diamonds. Could you talk a little bit about the, the prices of rough South Africa and the whole world in general? What's going on with rough uh, prices? Are they being driven by shortages? Yeah. Look, I mean, rough, as you know, in the, in the past two, three years, you know, the rough diamond mm. prices have increased by 20%. Mm. And that we have also seen in South Africa. Mm. But I'm sure it will stabilize because that is almost disproportionate to the price of Polished goods. Right. Do you see South Africa supplying, holding tenders in the future in Israel at all? Is that a possibility? Rough you, diamond rough supplying diamond directly diamond. to Israel? Look, uh, there's nothing that stops uh, diamantes in mm. Israel to come in and buy rough diamonds in South Africa. The only thing is there will be a 5% export levy added on, added on the rough diamonds. Mm. And I've seen that happening. And I mean, 5% it simply build up onto the cost of. Uh, the, the purchase price of the diamonds and it happened.